What's up guys, Kudokun here, and today I've got a very interesting video for you. So there's a YouTuber I've been following for a while who calls himself Ashens, and uh, he's mainly known for doing tech reviews and looking at old video game systems and stuff, and he's very good at it, mind you. But there is one video series that he does that I find really interesting, and it's a series where he goes to Poundland, which is, if you've never been there, it's sort of Britain's equivalent of our dollar stores here in the States. And he talks about weird foods and stuff that he finds. I've always found that really interesting, and uh, I decided to just rip him off completely and go to my dollar store and see if I could find anything weird. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff I found, and if you like it, maybe this could be a semi-normal thing that we start doing on the channel. So what we're basically going to do right now is look at a bunch of weird snack foods and stuff I found at the American dollar stores. We're going to see just how weird the stuff here in the States is compared to the stuff in the great UK. So what should we start off with? Here we go. <laughs> this, my friends, is a cookie and hazelnut swirl spread. It looks a bit like uh, peanut butter and chocolate or something, but what it actually is, I suppose because this is the first time I've ever seen it, is somebody has taken cookies, like spiced cookies, it just says, right? A delicious cookie spread made from crushed spiced cookies. Somebody has literally just crushed cookies down into a paste and then made a sort of peanut buttery stuff out of it and then turned it into a bit of a peanut butter spread. Very, very strange idea. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. They have different kinds here. But uh, the kind I went with was the cookie and hazelnut, because I figure if the cookie is bad, at least the hazelnut's got to be good. <laughs> uh, at least that's, that's what the hope is. Keep in mind, this is from the dollar store, so we can't exactly expect perfect quality here. It smells nice, actually. It smells really, really good. Uh, it smells a bit like... I think it's mainly the hazelnut that I'm smelling here, but uh, it does have a bit of a shortbread cookie taste to it, too. Let me go ahead and grab myself a knife here. What I'm actually curious about is the actual cookie stuff itself, so let's give this cookie stuff a taste. That is a very strange taste. It literally does taste like cookie dough, though. That is weird. <laughs> I have no idea how they accomplished it, but it actually does taste like cookie dough. Is the hazelnut good? Gotta make sure the hazelnut at least tastes okay. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, it's very dollar story. That's definitely not the hazelnut you would find in, like, a Ferrer Rocher or something, but that's actually pretty decent. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on something, too. I figure nobody just sits and eats jars of this stuff. So, I also picked up some bread. I'm just gonna see exactly how this stuff tastes if you were to actually put it on something and try it out. And for the curious, this is something called shepherd's bread, which is actually, uh, I actually have no idea exactly what it is, but it's delicious. See, the taste itself is actually pretty okay. Oh my. But it's... The, the texture, the texture tastes really grainy. You could definitely tell it's a dollar store product. <laughs> because it, it just tastes like pure sawdust in the mouth. The taste itself is really nice. It's just, that texture is absolutely killer. If there were a higher quality uh, version of this, I actually think it'd be pretty good though. If you could get some that's uh, sort of just as smooth as like Jif peanut butter or whatever. I actually think that could be pretty nice. Very interesting idea, though. What have we got up next? Australia's Daryl Lee. I have never heard of this brand before. Uh, these are mango and white chocolate sticks. It's essentially like uh, like licorice, or well, I guess there's there's already something that's sort of uh, filled with cream or something. I already thought, but. Anyways, it's essentially just going to be like uh, a piece of candy with some kind of cream in it. In this case, it's mango and white chocolate. Uh, I swear I've seen this somewhere before. I think they're ripping something off wholesale, but oh. 
Oh, that. <laughs> so, on the package, they actually look pretty, pretty nice, full colored. But in real life, they look, they actually look a little bit terrifying. Uh, I'm, I'm a little worried about putting this in my mouth and trying to eat it now. <laughs> uh, oh, how does, how does Ashens do this? All right. Well, it's not like we can put this off forever. Uh, let me just go ahead and give this a little try. At least it's not expired like most of the stuff he eats. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. That, that doesn't quite, that doesn't quite cool go, go together. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. So, the actual mango part of it is okay, I guess. It just tastes like really cheap mango candy. The white chocolate in the center is absolutely horrible. Oh my god, it tastes, it tastes chalky, and it doesn't taste like white chocolate at all. It tastes like some kind of weird, like, chocolate extracty stuff. I don't even know how you make white chocolate taste that bad, but it is horrific. Oh my god. Australia, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and set that to the side. That is going straight in the trash. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, well, on the subject of gummy candies. I also picked up this thing here, Tangy Zangy Twisties. I mainly picked it up because it's probably the stupidest name I've ever heard in my entire life. But I thought it'd be a pretty interesting little thing to see. Uh, it's just, it's essentially just uh, gummy candies all squished together. In this case, it's wild berry, so you got like raspberry, strawberry, and um, I'm guessing blueberry, maybe? Not 100% sure. But these should at least be okay. It's just fruit candy. How on earth do you screw up fruit candy besides putting horrible white chocolate in the center, I suppose? Ah, uh, teeth. Nature's knives. So what do they look like, at least? Uh, I mean, they look okay. Essentially just looks like gummy candies. <laughs> There's a lot more purple than I was expecting. Ooh, and they smell nice. Wow, that is crazy. These things smell hella strong. Jesus. Oh, man. That, that, it's such a strong smell. I can't even describe it. It's literally just the strongest sugary smell as soon as I open the package. But anyways, let's uh, give her a go. Um, it... It's fine. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Honestly, I don't even really taste any of the fruit. It really, honestly, just tastes like sugar. That's it. Sugar is the only flavor I'm getting out of it at all. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, no fruit. No fruit whatsoever. That is... <laughs> made with real fruit juice. It says it right there on the package. Made with real fruit juice. I seriously can't taste any of the fruit at all. <laughs> Maybe the people drank fruit juice as they were making the candy, and that's why it counts, but I taste absolutely no fruit in that whatsoever. Let's give let's give one more a try. Just just one more. Mm. Nope. Still nothing. You failed! You failed me, Tangy Zangies. You failed me. Alright, let's move on to something a bit more savory because I, I need to get I need to get some of the sugar out of my mouth. Here we have Kettleman's Cuts Teriyaki Beef Jerky. Now, beef jerky itself isn't that weird, and teriyaki beef jerky isn't that weird either. But what is kinda weird is this is a almost an ounce or so of um beef jerky at the dollar store, which, that's that sounds insane to me. Uh, anybody, anybody who's ever picked up jerky knows that jerky is one of the most expensive foods to actually uh, want to eat as a snack food. 
So I figure dollar store jerky is probably going to be really terrible. <laughs> like, it's literal meat product. So unless they did something weird to this to make it like... Uh, something meat e but not actual meat itself i can't imagine how they managed to make dollar store beef jerky uh, a package like this would be um probably three to four dollars if it were uh jacks or matador or something ingredients beef sugar brown sugar water soy sauce vinegar salt natural smoke flavor mmm Spices and natural flavorings, beef stock, sodium nitrite. It contains soy and wheat. Honestly, it's the ingredients for jerky. I can't imagine I can't imagine what kind of dollar store meats they could possibly be using to make this jerky, but I'm very curious. Honestly, from the back it sounds pretty nice. How does it smell? Uh, it smells like jerky. Doesn't smell like any fake stuff or anything. Mm, it looks kind of okay, too. Uh, it doesn't really have as much uh, as much as much color as uh, regular jerky does. Uh, but it looks edible at the very least. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh my God. That's actually really good. <laughs> Holy crap! Dollar store jerky is actually delicious. I'm gonna have another bite of that. Oh! Oh, we got ourselves a winner, folks. You are going right over here, and I'm gonna snack on you as soon as this video is done. Dollar store jerky. Delicious. I, I seriously can't believe it. I bought that expecting it to be like this horrible off meaty thing that I could make fun of but I can't make fun of that at all that is delicious holy cow I'm gonna have to go get more of that <laughs> all right well now that we got something good out of the way let's uh, let's move on to something a little more interesting oh so this chocolate bar right here dairy free sweet chocolate dream gluten free dairy-free, gluten-free chocolate bar. Uh, something like this ending up the dollar store is a little bit insane. I'm curious to see how they manage to make a gluten-free chocolate bar work in a dollar store. Because a gluten-free and dairy-free, something like this, if you're going to go to pretty much anywhere nowadays, Something like this would sell for 5 or $6, especially because it's such a big package. If it were a smaller package, I could understand it. But, uh, no, this is three ounces of chocolate for for a dollar, and it's dairy and gluten-free. So, this is another thing I'm expecting to be really, really horrible, but I honestly, if that jerky was that good, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe we're in for a treat with this one. I, I don't really have a problem with uh, dairy or gluten or anything, but... It's just really interesting that you could find something like this that's sort of like a healthier version of a chocolate bar at the dollar store. All right, it looks nice. I can't really tell what kind of chocolate it is. Does it say? Is it milk chocolate or something? It, <laughs> like, it doesn't even say. It doesn't even say whether it's dark chocolate or milk chocolate or whatever. It looks like dark chocolate, though, and I imagine something like this would have to be dark chocolate because uh, milk chocolate dairy-free doesn't really sound like a thing that could possibly happen in any universe. So, all right here. Let's, uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Well... They were going for dark chocolate. I can definitely taste the influence there. I cannot tell if they succeeded or failed. Because honestly, when I first put it in my mouth, it tastes like dark chocolate for a second, and then nothing. Like, it immediately evaporated in my mouth after I got the hint of dark chocolate. Um, 
Holy crap, I can't imagine that that would set off sight anybody who has a chocolate craving. It, I can't even really say it tastes bad. It, it literally, you taste dark chocolate for a second, and then it evaporates into absolute nothingness in your mouth. Holy crap, I don't even know how they managed to do that. What the heck's in this thing? <laughs> it's funny I say that. The first ingredient is evaporated cane sugar. <laughs> well... Uh, I can taste it, boys. You got it right. Evaporated cane sugar, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, roasted soy flour, soy lecithin, and emulsifier. Oh, thank you for clearing that up for me. Pure vanilla extract. Uh, I can't taste any of that. Honestly, it just tastes like a little bit of dark chocolate that turns into nothingness. Yeah, how interesting. Uh, probably not going to be finishing that one up, but I'll go ahead and set it to the side anyways. <sighs> Let's see here. So this is something <laughs> that Ashens actually talks about in some of his videos. It's just a gigantic lollipop. I'm not sure how many other people uh, know about stuff like this, because I don't know how many other countries it's in, but there, there's, there's just gigantic horrible looking suckers and I've never actually bought and eaten one of these before because they just look so rancid but I, I figure you know it, since it's something that uh, Ashens has talked about a few times and I'm sort of ripping Ashens off with this whole thing I'd go ahead and uh, buy one and try it out let's get this open okay so I see what they were going for that definitely does look like a guitar uh, smells vaguely strawberry-ish, I suppose. This could be kind of okay. I could see something like this being enjoyable. Let's give it a try. Um, wow, 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 wow. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, I lied. I lied. There's nothing okay about this. Oh. Oh my, I can't believe people buy that for their kids. So it's just the strongest sugary taste you could possibly imagine with a slight hint of strawberry. And the slight hint of strawberry is like the fakest possible version of strawberry flavoring you could possibly get. That is horrible. And it's got this stuff that's coated on. I thought it was just, like, coloring or something, but it's got this weird... Can I break some of it off? Maybe grind some of it off? Eh. Holy cow, no, that is that is on there. But it, this stuff on it is like this horrible frosting stuff. And it's it tastes awful. Holy crap. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it one more try here. See if I can get a bit more of the frosting. Wow. I regret it. I regret it, and I will never do this again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't even believe how bad these things are. Uh, not recommended. <laughs> if you see one of these in the dollar store shop, um, unless your kid has done something really, really awful that they need to be punished for, go ahead and stay away from these. Because <laughs> that is just foul. Oh, what else have we got back here? We got we got a couple more things to look at. This is probably one of the more interesting things that I saw that I wanted to talk about. Jolly Ranchers, which Jolly Ranchers by themselves aren't that weird, but uh, these are spicy Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> I'm, I am, I can't imagine why these wouldn't have gone over well and why they would have ended up in a dollar store. I mean, a, a spicy Jolly Ranchers just sounds like the best idea. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Jolly Ranchers, uh, pretty much all of the flavors, so I'm pretty curious to see how they screwed this one up. Oh my gosh, that didn't even work. The package isn't even open. What are you? Die! Alright, we got this. We got this, boys. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, they look like Jolly Ranchers, and I can't really fault them there. 
It's not like a knockoff or anything. This is a legitimate company. So we're going to go ahead and give one of these a try here. Which one is this? Cherry. Okay. Well, Cherry is my favorite. So I want to try Cherry, and then I'm going to try the uh, Blue Raspberry one, because uh, that's sort of my least favorite. <sighs> Spicy Jolly Ranch. I can't even imagine what this is going to taste like. <laughs> I, I seriously can't even wrap my head around the concept. But, uh... I guess here it goes. Three, two, one. Okay. Honestly, just kind of tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Oh! Oh, that is a lot more intense than I was expecting. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, like I'm moving it around on my tongue right now. And I can definitely taste the cherry. But it's like my tongue is stinging while I can taste the cherry. Oh, I, I thought it was just going to be like a small thing. Like maybe like a bit of cinnamon or something as the aftertaste, but no, that that is legitimately spicy. It is an actual spicy Jolly Rancher. That's not just cinnamon, that's definitely something else. Or if it is cinnamon, they're using a lot of freaking cinnamon. Oh, that's that's very interesting. Okay, mm. I'm gonna take that out of my mouth for right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I just wasn't expecting it to be so intense. But that is that is an actual like Tabasco candy right there. <laughs> that is crazy. I will say though, the cherry still tasted really nice. So at least it wasn't enough to kill the taste of the Jolly Rancher. But I'm going to go ahead and try this blue one here. I, I'm not really, like, against the blue raspberry uh, Jolly Ranchers, but they're definitely my least favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and try the worst one and see if it, it still sort of ruins the flavor at all. Um, okay. So again... At first, I don't really taste anything. It definitely needs some uh, moisture to get going. I'm still not really getting any of the spice. Well, that's weird. Am I just building up a really quick immunity against the, uh, the spicy aftertaste? Well, there it is, a little bit. I, I can't... I, I seriously, are, I'm not, like, I'm getting almost zero spice from this at all. That's so weird. Why was the cherry one so intense? But this one, I seriously can barely even taste the fact that there's any spiciness to it. It just tastes like a regular blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. That was a very weird experience. Uh, I guess I'll set this one to the side, too. <laughs> that's, that's really weird. I mean, as a concept, I guess this was just like a little, um, fun thing that Jolly Rancher did. But if they ended up at the dollar store, chances are, nobody else really liked it either. So, at least I'm not alone. We got one more thing to try here. We've had all of these things to eat, but nothing really to drink. So, if you don't live in the U.S., you might not see these as much, but, uh, there, there are energy drinks here, and energy drinks are very, very, very big, especially among, like, college students and stuff. Uh, Rockstar is one of the brands. I've actually never had a regular Rockstar, now that I think about it. Uh, uh normally whenever I get a Rockstar, I get the Fruit Punch Rockstars, because they end up at the dollar store sometimes. But... The Fruit Punch rock stars and all of the other rock stars that end up at the dollar store are like small cans that are maybe like the third the size of this. This is like a full size drink that uh, normally costs about two fifty at most gas stations and stuff. But this is a full size rock star that is at the dollar store, and it's a weird flavor. So I'm guessing it's a flavor that just didn't go over very well. Uh, mixed mojito, which is an uh, an alcoholic beverage, actually. Uh, if I remember correctly, mojitos are a mix of lime, mint, and rum. If I remember correctly, I, it's been a while since I've uh, since I've taken a look at a mojito, but that's what I remember them being. 
So I'm very curious to see what exactly this tastes like. Because also keep in mind that rock stars and other energy drinks and stuff like Monster and Full Throttle, so on and so forth, are drank a lot by uh, 12, 13, 14 year olds who think it's really edgy and cool. So this is the taste of an alcoholic beverage that pretty much any kiddo can try out, <laughs> which makes it more interesting. I'm not trying to be like a moral arbiter or anything and say like, oh God, Rockstar, how dare you release this... Uh, <laughs> this alcoholic tasting drink to minors um I i'm just really interested to see like how something like this could have gone over so badly that this ended up in the dollar store and you don't see any on shelves but i suppose that's enough stalling i'm gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open gotcha it smells like mint honestly mint is mint is all i smell <laughs> I almost can't smell anything else about the drink. It just smells like a minty drink. Uh, 10 calories per serving. Is this sugar-free or something? It doesn't say sugar-free anywhere on it. Nope, no sugar-free. But it's only 10 calories. It does actually have zero sugars. It just doesn't advertise itself as being a sugar-free drink. That is really weird. What else have you got? Uh, one gram of carbs. Holy crap. This is the healthiest drink that I've ever drank. <laughs> That's crazy. So, if it doesn't have any sugars in it, I'm guessing it tastes really awful. And that's probably why it didn't go over well. But uh, we're going to go ahead and give this bad boy a try here and now. Oh, sorry guys. There's going to be a really weird cut if you're watching this. Because um, my headset died while I was drinking this, which is a, a very interesting little coincidence. But yeah, honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna be totally totally upfront here. This actually doesn't taste too bad. It actually tastes really really good, besides the fact that the mint is really really overpowering. If the mint weren't there as much and you could taste more of the uh, the lime, this would actually be a pretty nice little drink, and I think it would have stuck around a little longer. I'm gonna go ahead and take another drink. It really doesn't taste like a mojito. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one out there. Um, I've had mojitos before, and that doesn't that doesn't taste like a mojito at all. But just as far as like a lime drink with a bit of uh, with a bit of mint in it, it, it definitely tastes pretty darn good, <laughs> minus the fact that the mint is so strong. That really shocked me. This is another thing I was I was expecting most of this to be really bad, and honestly. A few of these things were actually pretty darn good. I'd say that um, this this is one of the better ones. And then we've got, of course, the... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, my gosh. Wait a second. Oh, oh, the aftertaste. <laughs> the aftertaste just sort of hit me, and it's really weird. Honestly, not too bad, but just, just a little bit weird. Anyways, I'd say that this is definitely in the top. The MVP is definitely the jerky which i was expecting to be one of the worst experiences of all time but just ended up being really 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 good and then of course the uh the cookie stuff that i can't seem to find now oh here it is then of course the sort of cookie and hazelnut spread honestly as far as dollar store items go these three things were actually pretty darn good huh <laughs> it's a very interesting little thing but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this sort of thing, uh, I know this is the first time I've done something like this, so it might not have gone over super duper well because I've still got a lot of sort of kinks and stuff to work out, and I know I ramble a little bit. But if you like this idea, at least, uh, let me know, and maybe I'll go find some interesting toys or um, interesting items of another variety other than snack foods to look at, and maybe we can do another thing like this in the future. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out, and I'll see you guys later.